Okay, so the project that I'm going to be working on today is replacing the motor on this Aaron's snow throw. This was given to me by a neighbor. Uh, the engine will run, but there's parts from the carburetor that are missing, and it's not worth it to get into. After a little bit of research, I found out that the Predator 212cc engine from Harbor Freight fits perfectly. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, but kind of just making this video to see how it goes. So uh, without further ado, here we go. So these four studs that you're going to see me hitting out of the mainframe of the snowblower, what hold the engine to the frame, they're spot welded from underneath, so it's not very difficult to get them removed, although I do have problems with the last one, the top right one. It ends up warping the top plate of the mainframe slightly. It does not affect mounting the engine, which I just end up mounting the engine with uh, bolts and nuts that I purchased from the local hardware store. I used grade 8. You see here, i got to get the big hammer out, but that still didn't do it. I ended up throwing some heat on them with a propane torch, and uh, it definitely helped. It was just underneath making sure that nothing here was holding it. I didn't want to damage anything else in the process of trying to get that nut out. Excuse me, that bolt out. But you'll see, obviously I'm using the proper tool here. That's a hex 3 8 drive. But uh, yeah, we're going to get that last bolt out, get the engine bolted up. know it I didn't hit record when I put the engine on the snowblower all it was was four bolts four nuts two bolts to hold the shroud onto the front side and of course the pulleys were the same there were the same three-quarter inch output shaft on each engine horrible place for the drain plug and uh, next up you're gonna see the first start and yes it does have oil in it <laughs> 